Hey guys, in today's video, we're going to be comparing iOS 17.1.1, the current release of iOS, versus the upcoming release, iOS 17.2. Now, iOS 17.2 is approaching its final beta testing, so I thought it'd be perfect to compare it to the current release of iOS 17.1.1. Now, there's been four main issues that I've heard ever since Apple released iOS 17 from iPhone users. Number one, poor Wi-Fi connection and poor Wi-Fi speeds. Number two, performance issues. So we're going to be testing with benchmarks here. Number three, keyboard issues, keyboard lag, keyboards disappearing, all kinds of keyboard issues. And number four, battery performance. So in this video, we're going to take a look at iOS 17.1.1 versus 17.2 to see if Apple has addressed any of these issues on the upcoming software. Now, Apple has already gone on record to say that poor Wi-Fi connection has been fixed within iOS 17.2 as of the second beta, so it should be implemented within the software as of right now. Let's go ahead and start the test. So let's go ahead and jump into the speed test application right here. It is 17.2 on the right, 17.1.1 on the left. We're going to test the current software first here to see the performance of the network on this device first. And we're going to go with the download speeds here. As you can see, 17.1.1 reaches anywhere from 320 to 330. We're approaching 300. 130 almost here so 325 on the download speeds and the upload speeds we're getting about 20 to 25 as of right now climbing up to 30 and it looks like 31 32 is going to be the maximum maybe even 35 will be the maximum on upload speeds so 34 34 on the upload speeds now let's try 17.2 where apple says they've already entered the patch to address the poor network performance so same network of course same network location we're in the studio let's go ahead and see the wi-fi speed test right now both iphones 15 pro max is here the 17.2 has actually performed better initially with the download speeds as you can see reaching 350 versus the 325 so 361 actually on download speeds versus 325 on 17.1.1 so it looks like apple has actually addressed the issues at least on these initial testing here let's go with the upload speeds here so 17.2 upload speeds as you can see right there also topping 17.1 with 37 versus 34 or 35 almost here so yeah in terms in terms of Wi-Fi speeds, 17.2 definitely outperforms 17.1.1. Now let's go ahead and test that performance. So we're going to run a benchmark here with Geekbench 6, as you can see right there. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to do a CPU benchmark test. So let's go ahead and run the CPU benchmark test at the exact same time to see which software finished first and what's the performance numbers that we get out of both updates here. Okay, so it looks like iOS 17.2 actually finished the test slightly faster. So as you can see, the scores right here, 17.1.1 versus 17.2. The single core score on 17.2 is slightly higher, not by much, but it is slightly higher with 2,949 versus 2,941. And the multi-core score, here's where we see a larger gap. So we see 17.1.1 with 7,276 versus 7,000. 361. So when it comes to performance, 17.2 actually outperformed 17.1.1 as well. So looking good so far. Next, I want to talk about the keyboard because the keyboard has been somewhat of an issue with iOS 17. We've seen reports from keyboards not populating at all when typing or feedback delays, which I've experienced with iOS 17.1.1. Now, as I test iOS 17.1.1 versus 17.2 throughout my day, I usually keep two iPhones in my pocket i've noticed that on 17.1.1 the actual feedback from the keyboard is delayed sometimes not all the time but in 17.2 the feedback is right on point and when it comes to populating the keyboard on 17.1.1 versus 17.2 things are looking good i also did a quick typing test and the typing test seems pretty similar the only issue that i've noticed with the keyboard on 17.1.1 again is that feedback coming from the keyboard if you have the taptic engine enabled for the haptics on the keyboard 
It's a little bit delayed at some point and sometimes on 17.1.1, but overall, it looks like Apple has addressed the keyboard issues with 17.2, and hopefully for most of you guys as well. Now, the last thing I wanna talk about is battery life, because a lot of you guys always ask in regards to battery life, and as I mentioned, I always carry with me two iPhones, one with beta, one without the beta, and I switch between the two iPhones throughout the week, throughout the months, in order to test the battery life on each software. Now, this time around, 17.1.1 versus 17.2, the battery life, at least on my usage experience, has been identical to 17.1.1 on 17.2, the upcoming update. Now, keep in mind, your situation, your experience may vary depending on how you use your iPhone. I am a heavy user, but I do get through my entire day on the iPhone 15 Pro Max on 17.1.1, but I also get through my entire day on 17.2, and the difference isn't drastic. So maybe I'll end up the day with about, uh, I don't know, 15% on 17.2, and on 17.1.1, I'll end up with like 17 or 16%. So the difference isn't major it all depends on how you use your device now the battery could be better on both operating systems but as of right now if you were experiencing short battery life on 17.1.1 at least based on my test you will experience short battery life on 17.2.2 as well because as i mentioned throughout the couple of weeks of testing i've noticed that the battery basically remains the same at this point when it comes to battery life and performance based on my user experience so there you guys have it that about brings it into this video when it comes to wi-fi speeds you just saw 17.2 outperformed 17.1.1 benchmarks 17.2 also performed better when it comes to the keyboard it looks like the keyboard is okay on 17.2 but again that may be different for you depending on the different devices that we all have and of course the battery life as i mentioned that's always going to depend on how you use your device thank you for watching this quick comparison 17.1.1 versus 17.2 hope you guys have a great day and i'll see you guys on the next one peace